regarding modern notoriety posts in these up and coming Travis Scott and Fragment Air Jordan 1 lows. Now I've said a lot of bad things on this particular pod about Air Jordan 1 lows and I'm probably going to still continue saying bad things about Air Jordan 1 lows because I hate the shape, I hate the silhouette, I hate how they kind of look fake, you know, Air Jordan 1 lows, I don't know what it is about them. But with all that being said, I have to be honest, this particular Air Jordan 1 low, this Travis Scott and Fragment Air Jordan 1 low might be the best one so far and Travis Scott has done too many of these Air Jordan 1s. Lows especially. I feel like he's completely rinsed the market. I've got Air Jordan, I've got Travis Air Jordan 1 low, um, you know, fatigue. I've had enough of them. It almost feels like his shoe is maybe one of the most popular generic normie sneakerhead shoes. You'll see some random, you know, security guard or some kick streamer wearing them. You'll see Dana White wearing them. You see all those around people wearing his fucking shoes, but I fucking hate them. I'm bored of them. But I think this particular colorway has reignited my interest in them and it's kind of made me look past the crazy edge of the one low shape and how it looks in general number one if you don't know the shoe is an all white with navy blue you've got an all white upper it looks like a it looks like it's a tumbled leather it may be oh no it's not it's just just nicely smoothly i thought it was a tumble there for my eyes are a bit shitty um the swoosh on the side that's backwards is like a nice royal blue you also got a royal blue hit on the heel tab which i really like because this if i'm not mistaken looks like it's suede or new buck um the lining on the inside is mesh i thought that was satin but it's a mesh lining nice flat laces and then on the tongue you've got the if i'm not mistaken you've got the travis scott logo and then i think the fragment logo as well stitched on there but i also love the addition of this stained midsole which kind of gives like an aged vintage look as well but this might be one of the best colorways i've seen so far on this edge of the one low this white and blue pair they look so fucking good like they killed it like, especially this angle here with the guy wearing it on his feet like these look crazy so on the tongue on the left hand side of the tongue down the side you've got a tag here that says fragment and on the opposite foot you've got a tag that says travis scott it's a well, it's a travis scott tag or like logo with the with the x's i think next to the t and shit but this looks so good so the lever the, the swoosh on the lever that's backwards is tumbled so you've got this nice tumbled lever effect there's nice and plush lever finishes there but the lever here on the upper is just like regular lever it looks like there's even some bubbles here actually where this guy's wearing them. They don't they don't look too great high quality, I've got to be honest. The lever on the upper bar. I don't mind them because the colour is so fresh. Um I like the fucking stained midsole. Gives it a weird vintage look, even though they're incredibly new. But they're such a good shoe. Really fucking good shoe. I'll definitely keep my eye on these when they eventually when they eventually come out. Which is gonna be wow, man. I'm I'm curious to see what's going on with all these shoes getting leaked and the release date is like next year. I think I saw something happen with the Teddy Santis designed New Balances that are going to drop sometime next year in summer. Same with these. Like, allegedly, they're going to be dropping in what? In fall of 2025. Not even summer. Fall. It's like, God damn it, man. They're not mucking around, but it's a really nice shoe. Love what it looks like. Again, like I said, I think the hit here at the back is probably the best thing possible. That little fucking suede New Buck Hill tab with the stitching all over it is absolutely amazing. So, Big up um, Hiroshi Fujiwara and obviously Travis and all those guys involved in that thing because I think this is one of the best Jordan 1 fucking loads I've seen in a while. Definitely, definitely seen in a while. It looks so flipping good. It looks so freaking clean. Big up Travis. Big up Hiroshi Fujiwara. You know what time it is. You know what time it is.